Hey, welcome to your daily dose of true wealth. Super excited. Today is all about getting into 10 out of 10 truth and everywhere in your life. So this is a tricky one because a lot of our culture is sort of self-programmed or on autopilot, especially with encounters, right? So you see someone walking, how's it going? Fine. So we don't actually check in with ourselves or with each other. Is that really true that you're fine? And so today is all about raising the standards like we talked about yesterday. And today we're specifically focusing on your words and your interactions and your conversations to make sure everything that you say, everything that you do is in 100% truth. So where you can start to see this is, sorry, my, my, Internet just went out. Um, where you can start to notice this is in the casual encounters, of course, when you are interacting with someone, maybe at a coffee shop, just ask yourself when someone responds how they are, do you actually believe them? Or are they giving you sort of the automatic response without even checking in with themselves? And then make sure for you, you are actually checking in with yourself too and not giving the automatic response. And the other area you can start to take note of this is sort of our conditioning to be polite. So for example, if you go to a restaurant, something comes out that you ordered and you don't actually like it that much, it's just okay. And when the server asks you, how is everything, is your automatic response to be polite and say, oh, mm, it's good, when really it's not. And so this is a tricky one because we, especially in the U.S., have this idea that we have to be nice or polite instead of actually telling the truth. Actually, it's not that great. Yes, I am the one that ordered it, but I can still own that the way it turned out is not actually very high quality. And being willing to be uncomfortable and say, you know what? I know I ordered that glass of wine. It tastes awful. Can you? I would like to change it for something else because it's your experience and you're putting that into your body and why not again talking about standards raise the standards for what you put into your body and no this is not acceptable so this is the the day where things become a little bit uncomfortable because what I want you to do is in all your interaction throughout the day is to check in with your energy and with your soul and decide before you say anything is this the truth get out of that default autopilot kind of being a robot thinking and, and speaking and really check in what's really going on for you and what is true for you. And when you say something, ask yourself even, do I believe it? Is that actually true for me? And then the other area you can start to do some work is in any areas of your life where maybe you broke your word to someone, it's time to go clean up the past. So. Do a little audit again of past situations, anywhere you felt like you were out of integrity with someone, you broke your promise, you, you didn't keep your word, and go clean up your act. So I know this is, an un this is uncomfortable, but this is the, the, the work of really getting in touch with your inner wealth, because your inner wealth has the highest integrity and is completely rich and in touch with your soul, so there is no discrepancy in how you feel and how you show up. And you're also constantly tuning into your energy, managing your energy, being the sovereign of your energy so that you are showing up exactly as your highest expression and not having these sort of fake moments where things aren't okay, but you say everything's fine. And even be able to call people out when someone says that they're fine and you kind of sense that's not actually true. Being willing to say, you know what, is that actually true? I'm noticing you seem a little upset or whatever it is, being willing to invite someone into a conversation, being willing to be vulnerable with someone to call out what is really true. And more and more you do this in your life, in every area of your life, in every situation, in every relationship, in every encounter, the more you will be in pure, true integrity with your soul, which is critical for tapping into the inner riches of your life and of who you are. So that is your work today, is to clean up your act around every interaction, every conversation, and I would even say going even further in every thought and belief and asking yourself all day, every day, is that actually true? 
And then you can even ask, well, if, for example, if it's a negative belief or a limiting belief, how do I feel when I believe that? And if you notice that belief is really debilitating, disempowering, then ask yourself, how would I feel if the opposite were true? So start to switch any negative belief, any negative thought, limiting belief or negative thought into what is actually true and then tap into the energy of that. And what does that make available to you, which is tremendously more than when you're living in illusion. Cool. All right. So grab your copy of the inner wealth, true wealth visualization that is posted below and also reach out if you have questions. And I'd love to hear how this goes for you as you start to live more in alignment with your soul and clean up your act and be in 10 out of 10 truth in every situation with everyone everywhere. Awesome. All right. See you soon.